Konnichiwa, it's Katy Perry. Hello, how are you? Okay, celebrity cameos usually aren't that subtle. I mean, if you're gonna go through the effort to pay for a star, you'd want them to be as visually present as possible. Or more likely, it's in their contract. Video games haven't been strangers to celebrity appearances since, uh... D Daily Thompson's Decathlon in 1984? Uh, there might be an earlier instance, but I mean, y you get the point. Indeed, from fully-fledged cinematic performances like Beyond Two Souls, yikes, to weird, really niche stuff like, did you know that there's a character exclusive to the Japanese version of X-Men vs. Street Fighter called Nori Maro, based on Japanese comedian Noritake Kanashi, a full, playable character? not available in any other region. I mean, I don't know why. It's not like it's gonna turn anyone off of a game with the name X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Picture this. It's 1994. You're Kirk Cameron, fresh off the set of Growing Pains. You're a teen heartthrob, America's golden boy. What project do you set your sights on first? Now has the appearance of a large, drowning roach. <laughs> she, having been bathed in wine at the hands of the Borgonian ambassador's wife. <laughs> the words that spewed forth from this saintly maiden's mouth were of sort as to make the most hardened warrior's ears to burn. <laughs> The Horde is a 1994 hack-and-slash strategy tower defense mishmash game that's actually not that bad. You just haven't heard of it because it released on the... <laughs> to be real, I love FMV. It's almost synonymous with the awkward half-step in technology that was the short-lived 32-bit era. So this project was somewhat ambitious. You have to remember that people were actually excited for the 3DO, until it announced its price tag, at least. Suffice to say, neither devs nor publishers were really chomping at the bit to get a game out for the system, and so it fell to the scrappy newcomer, Toys for Bob. I'm so sorry. This was actually their third game ever, second console release, and first time working with full motion video. Apparently, they were also considering Jim Carrey and Michael Richards for the leading role before either of them had hit their brakes. Carrey turned it down because he just landed a deal on some, like, crime drama movie? I, I don't know, a pretty big missed opportunity if you ask me. Richards declined for personal reasons. See, he was an animal rights activist at the time and was opposed to the depiction of bovine murder. Kirk Cameron was a good pick for the role, I think. He really lends this wide-eyed performance of the character. What is your name, boy? Uh, Chauncey, sir, M my lord, your, your highness, sir. And where do you hail from? Well, I, I have no home, sire. I, I was raised by a kind herd of wild cows. Science has never found a genuine transitional form that is one kind of animal crossing over into another kind, either living or in the fossil record. All right, and if you find one of these, you could become rich and famous. So here's some transitional forms. This is called the crocodile. Oh Can you see this? God, what a numb nut. Crocodile. And a duck. All right, let's try another one. This is the bullfrog. It served me well in defending the kingdom from the evil, insatiable, terrifying horde. Horde? Wearing a red hat, a white Santa beard, and a big smile, actor Kirk Cameron appearing at a crowded caroling event in Thousand Oaks. There was even a table set up with a sign saying, Mask Exempt Badges Here. From this day forward, Sir Chauncey, you are my adopted son and heir to the throne. <laughs> I believe that marriage was defined uh, by God a long time ago. It, marriage is almost as old as dirt, and it was defined in the garden between Adam and Eve, one man, one woman, for life. It's, it's 
it's it's unnatural. I think that it's 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 detrimental and uh, ultimately destructive to so many uh, of the foundations of civilization. A funny story. This game's biggest criticism at launch was a bug that would delete the save data across your entire 3DO system just for the Horde's save file. You're playing the Horde and nothing else. Funny story too. You see this scene? One way to get out of prison is to pay your debt or to get the key. <laughs> yeah, the prop department originally made that key out of chocolate, which this actor had a fatal allergy to. Apparently, he caught it just in time and narrowly avoided a big oopsie. Imagine dying for the Horde with Kirk Cameron. Damn. Now, one of my favorite bands of all time is Malice Miser. They're a Japanese goth rock group who was mainly active during the 90s and 2000s. During that time, they went through these three distinct eras, which coincided with them changing their vocalist. Their second singer, who heralded in their most popular period, was someone you may be familiar with, Gact. Gact is, to put it mildly, a character. He has actually made comments on several occasions that Squall from Final Fantasy VIII was based on him. This has been publicly refuted by Tetsuya Nomura. Now imagine my surprise when booting up Final Fantasy Crisis Core and seeing WHAT ARE YOU TALKING ABOUT?! WHAT'S GOING ON HERE?! I told you. You can't live on that side anymore. Uh, wait, that's... That's just... that's just gacked. If you haven't heard of Genesis, that means that you are just far away enough from FF7 compilation that your organs are still functioning. Congrats! Okay, so the Genova project that created Sephiroth had an earlier, less successful phase that resulted in Angeal and Genesis being born, uh, making them basically Sephiroth's little brothers. Genesis' genes were then spliced into other fetuses, which caused this game. Genesis actually appeared earlier in the compilation series in this game. See, uh, Gact performed the main theme for Dirge of Cerberus, Redemption, and ended up playing Genesis in this poorly lip-synced, secret live-action ending. It is not yet time for slumber. We still have much work to do. My brother. There's no confirmation on exactly how he ended up in the role, but I'm guessing he just asked to do it? Apparently, this went over so well that the producer of Crisis Core, Hideki Imaizuma, wanted to expand the character and bring him back for the prequel. Thus, everyone was made aware of... Loveless, Act 1. <laughs> you remembered... How can I not, when you've beaten it into my head? Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is a mobile gacha game that launched in 2015. It features a handful of original characters who can summon Visions, aka other FF characters. Now, imagine you're a Square Enix executive, sitting at your desk, Racking your brain to think of ways to get the youth into your game. Of course. Ariana Grande. There's no crazy story behind this one. Ariana Grande's publicist was just contacted about a collaboration and they said yes. The Dangerous Woman Ariana unit is based on her third studio album of the same name. Grande has been a regular guest in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. God, this is so weird to read. I 
皆さんこんにちは、えー、スクエニックスファイナルファンタジーブレイブエクスビアスプロデューサーのヒロノでございます、えー、今日はですね、えー、今日から始まる、えー、アリアナ・グランデさんとのイベントのことを、えー、お伝えできればなというふうに思っています、えー、今回、ね、初めてですねゲームとですね、えー、音楽のアーティストさんとの、えー、コラボレーションをした、えー、初挑戦となるイベントになりますはい、えー、スクエニックスファイナルファンタジーブレイブエクスビアスグローバル版プロデューサーの藤本ですこのイベントはですね、皆さんにこう参加していただくと、えー、誰でもアリアナ・グランデのキャラクターを手に入れることができますキャラクターも星4から星6に成長する非常に強力なキャラクターなのでぜひ手に入れてですね一緒に冒険にアリアナと一緒に冒険に出てもらえればなと思いますこれからもですね「ファイナルファンタジーブレイブエクスペース」は世界中のお客さんに楽しんでいただけるように新しいチャレンジ、えー、していきますのでこれからもぜひとも応援のほどよろしくお願いしますそれでは今日はこの辺りでではではバイバイバイバイ At the very least, she seems to have a real interest in Japanese pop culture and was somewhat familiar with Final Fantasy, which is more than I can say for Katy Perry, who sounds like she heard of it for the first time that day. Okay, going into just the theme of Final Fantasy, it's really about friendship and they're pitted against each other, but then they build a stronger bond. What do you think about this friendship and bond? How is that important to life and just for you? Oh, yeah.、Um, I, like the gift. I like the gift that they gave me the washcloths. One of our friends' dad passed away very suddenly. Okay, so the song Immortal Flame is、um, a song that it just feels like this word, immortal flame. It feels like such a video game song. It's like very like, fantasy sounding. And... Do you mind giving us a message for, your fan, for the fans of the game? Yeah. Konnichiwa, it's Katy Perry. Hello, how are you? Hello to all the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius fans. This time I've collaborated with FFBE and I've also written an original song for the game. And you can only hear it in the game while you're playing, of course. And I'm also appearing in the game as a character, of course. Hello. Please download FFBE on your phone and play it. <laughs> Celebrities reading off Hugh cards is my favorite thing. Speaking of. Same MO as the others? You got it. Look around you, asshole. If anything, this is more gruesome than the other two. Hell of a lot more splatter. You have any clues? No sign of forced entry, nothing's disturbed. Two sets of prints hers and her mother's. The only thing not where it should be. Is this woman's insides? Ripper is a 1996 FMV point and click detective game, a cyberpunk retelling of the Jack the Ripper legend. The FMV bubble was short lived. The Horde managed to squeeze right in when it was still a selling point, but Ripper needed something more. Ripper was going to be what took gaming to the storytelling level of movies. <laughs> This guy is unfucking believable. The game features a surprising number of pretty big names like John Rice Davies, Paul Giamatti, Burgess Meredith, and Karen Allen, among others.、Uh, others being Christopher Walken. There's nothing here you haven't seen at the other murder sites except a few extra gallons of body fluids. Self defense, man. I mean, why'd you hit me, Quinlan? What are you, stupid? Any luck identifying the murder weapon yet? I will guess that it's a knife. Farley says that hasn't been established. That fat fuck has a lot of crazy theories. It's not rocket science. These people were butchered. You can't slice bacon with a baseball bat. Cop KO's penhead, first round. How's your face, asshole? What do you got on the Powell case? Look, just cause you two played tiddlywinks in your birthday suits doesn't mean I'm gonna open police files for you. She's a fuck like you. Thinks he has me by the balls. All right, Quinlan. You wanna quit a bust? Fuck him. He's out. And it's on your conscience. He strikes again. And it's got a doctor named Burton who practically invented the field. She's a real ball breaker, though. Why didn't you tell me about the web runners? What are you talking about? Well, please, 
I'm dying of anticipation with you and 10 million readers. We could have a real intimate relationship, you and I. It's not my fault you can't catch this guy. No, no, see. <laughs> I'll rewrite the damn rules if that's what it takes to nail Eddie. Well, if it's another frame job, I'm gonna have to run it in the Herald. No, please don't. <sighs> You're lucky I'm in a good mood today, Conan, because you come this close to finding out what it's like to be a human shish kebab rotating in one of our fine penal institutions. But you're way off on that. I'm going into interrogation, Brandon. You know, a little police work. How's the coffee, Sarge? Mm, nice and hot. Yeah, the pile of bodies is getting bigger. I got crazies coming out the woodwork to confess. This ripper's been spotted more times than Elvis. Because they don't know what they're talking about. She's never dogged anything in her life, so far as I know. Sounds like you know her, Magnana. Well, she'd have to have about 20 more pounds. And 50 less IQ points for me to be interested. I thought I threw you out. Now get the fuck out of here. This isn't really a cameo because he's just playing a full-on role as a main character, but I just had to include it because it, it's just too good. Mm, nice and hot. This game had a troubled, stressful development. There's a very enlightening Wired article written by Lisa Wood Shapiro, the production coordinator for the project, who described some of the hellish working conditions. Such conditions included low production budget despite costing millions to produce, turning off air conditioning to reduce noise during filming, a 317-page script, round-the-clock hours for blue screen compositing. Quinto Martin, one of the 3D artists, said, You couldn't pan, and you really didn't want the actors to move. We were making it up as we went along. We worked around the clock. People thought we were drunk, but we were just sleep-deprived. We could have used ten more people. At first, it was just the two of us, Bill Petrus and I, doing the graphics. During that period, I worked nearly 24 hours a day. No weekends off, no holidays off. It was like slave labor. Head writer F.J. Lennon said, I don't think Walken even knew what we were making. Maybe none of the actors did. Apparently, he didn't even know how to turn on a computer. Burgess was in his 80s during the shoot, and it's actually his last role, which he never got to see, because he didn't own a computer. Meredith also showed up to the filming wearing blue-rimmed glasses to read the script, which uh, caused a bit of a problem. I find it hilarious, the idea that Burgess Meredith walks on screen and part of his face is just invisible. <laughs> While the game would be met with above-average reviews, people were already getting over the FMV trend. I think this excerpt from the Wired article sums it up best. During breaks, Blue Oyster Cult's Don't Fear the Reaper, which was licensed by Take-Two for Ripper's theme song, would blast from the speakers as the crew sneaked off to play the just-released Doom 2, which was all 3D graphics and no video interstitials. Lennon says that it was apparent to him right then that the experience of playing Doom 2 was always going to be far superior to a game with full motion video. Quote, I remember thinking, a game was not a movie, and a movie was not a game. That's going to be all for today. If you have any other favorite or just odd celebrity appearances in games, let me know in the comments below.